Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Alicia. What's poppin'? What's shaking? How are you doing today? Am I ready to be loved? To be loved. This is going to be my 12 month transformation update for y'all. This past year has definitely been a train wreck. I've been on the tracks, off the tracks, on the tracks again, off the tracks, but then on the tracks again eventually for the past 365 days. And let me tell you, that was very long. Yesterday, I weighed in, I took measurements, I took photos, and we're going to compare the beginning, 365 days ago, to right now. So, where are we? I began this journey tipping the scales at roughly 257 to 58 pounds, which was my highest recorded weight ever in my entire life. Yesterday morning, I waddled my way over to the scale, slapped my ass on it, and was pleased to see that I now weigh 184 pounds. How much is that, actually? I have lost a total of 73 pounds, which is fantastic. That is awesome. 73 pounds in 12 months is crazy. 73 pounds divided by 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, six, six pounds a month. Those timetables really be helping me out now. So I've, I'm down 73 pounds. I weigh 184 roughly, 183, 184, and that is where I'm at right now. So I'm just chugging along this journey one year through. Yes. So now let's get into the most exciting part that you all have been waiting for. My measurements and my weight loss pictures. All right, guys, so getting straight into the measurements. As you can see, I've lost inches everywhere on my body. I tend to lose weight pretty evenly throughout my body and I lost the most inches around the most plumpest part of my body which is my core so I'm very excited to see that go down by 11 inches that is absolutely crazy I'm super stoked to see that my thighs have gone down and well it's not my goal to get a thigh gap but the chub rub we're getting there people it's going away <laughs> All together, I've added up all of the inches, and I've lost a total of 37.5 inches. That is crazy. Okay, so here's the front view. I'm definitely noticing that my love handles basically sort of gone. I mean, they're kind of here yet, but it's just a complete gone. I'm also noticing kind of my frame in general is way smaller here than it is here and I'm wearing the exact same clothing and like this this is very tight while this is like very loose and nice fitting. Here is a side view and this entire flab of fat is just gone. There's nothing there anymore. And like my stomach and like all of the stretch marks are gone completely. I'm also noticing too kind of here around my butt. This looks more curved up while this is kind of, you know, they're more toned. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. My lats, though, like, main difference, the first thing that I'm automatically drawn to is this. My love handles, happy flabs, I like to call them. I, it's, it's just crazy to see, like, that's why I stress enough. Like, if you don't want to weigh yourself, that's okay, but take before and after photos. Because if I wouldn't have taken a photo of before, there was no way I would have been able to see this huge change. And it may sound weird, but I didn't even realize I got this big 
until after looking at it now. Anyways, I can definitely see that my arms have gone down as well. Like, more toned and stronger. I'm getting a more an hourglass figure here. Which is just absolutely... It doesn't even look like the same person. It's honestly just wow. It's like a way flatter back too. Way flatter, way more tone, muscular. My shoulder, it's just, it's crazy. I am very proud of myself and how far I've come. And it just pumps me up so much to see how far I can go more. And I'm just excited for what the future holds for me and what I can transform my body into further. So let's chat really quickly about my future and the goals that I want to achieve. One of my goals for the future, I would say, is learning to love myself and the way I look right now and accepting that I look awesome and I look like a queen and I look like a queen before, but I look like a bad bitch right now. So I just need to like get that in my head and maybe take, do some meditation or like self-affirmations to help like throw that into my head because I deal with body insecurities and body dysmorphia and anxiety like many people and I just need to prioritize my mental health this upcoming year and really focus on not the number on the scale so much but how I feel inside and how I feel overall Goal number two, drinking more water. For some reason, either I get preoccupied throughout the day or I'm just so busy that I can't pick up a water bottle and drink it. I think I just need to get like a water bottle and then put like, drink this by then, drink this by then, stop being a little bitch, drink this by then, you know, that type of thing. Um, or like a reward myself or like ch have like some type of system to where I am like, okay, I'm drinking this so-and-so water. But yeah, that's goal number two, drinking more water. Goal number three, increase my protein intake. I was doing a little research online and it says you're supposed to be eating around one gram of protein per how much you weigh. I was close enough, you know. And I definitely have not been eating 180 grams of protein a day. Especially like if you're pri trying to prioritize and strengthen yourself by muscle building. Yeah, I need to increase my protein intake. With that being said, exercise and diet is so important. It has changed my entire life. Exercising and diet it is increasing my mood. It is making me feel better about myself. Um, I can't stress it enough that if you are trying to lose weight like I did exercise and diet is definitely definitely key and I just wanted to say that show, sharing this and showing the images is something that is really like hard for me kind of to put myself out there being that vulnerable yeah it's definitely a, a vulnerable subject for me especially sharing photos and um posting this on youtube so yeah, that's all I have for y'all today. I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Done.